are here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, and sharing commentary duty with me on this massive occasion is Stuart Robson. Plenty of excitement ahead of this one. It's Portugal up against Poland. Well, what a game we have in store for us today, Derek. Both these teams have really good players, slightly different styles of play, and there's so much at stake. Let's hope they both perform at their best here. It might be. What a commitment to defending. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Might take the lead. Oh, a smart stop. But he's gone short with it. It is a decent looking attack here. Milik. Return to Zielinski. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Bruno Fernandes has it. Ronaldo. It's with Ruben Neves. High quality defending. And given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide, and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? Not the pass he had in mind. Difficult to stop him. Who can he pick out? And now, Arkadiusz Milik. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And over it comes. The chance is on. Went in strongly, decisively. Must take the lead here. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Silva. Here's Ronaldo. And he read it well. Nikola Zalewski. Milik. Now he must favour the cross. Cristiano Ronaldo. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Ronaldo. On to Jota. And this is Diogo Jota now. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And space to exploit, maybe. And making the move to the inside. Oh, opportunity. Pounds away by the keeper. Ruben Neves. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Oh, sorry, Stuart. Look at this. Oh, that is a superb save. And short it is. Can he give them the advantage? Tremendous block. One block after another. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now what can he do from this? In it goes! The opening goal in this contest!
Well, here it is again. Ronaldo finds exactly the right pass behind the defenders and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. Teamwork and passing in evidence. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Huge block. Well, nicely cut out. Milik, surely the equaliser. Terrific block there. Szymanski just can't get it past them. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Terrific save. Corner kick played in. Well, still an issue here. Lewandowski, can he put it in? Oh, magnificent save. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. And a substitution in the offing. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. So back underway following the equaliser. And he's broken free. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Palinha. Bruno Fernandes. Must be. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes! Incredible stuff! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, the action continues. And no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Arkadiusz Milic... Well timed tackle. Zalewski. Lewandowski. And unable to find the target. They put themselves under pressure and have to start finishing chances. Well, frustration amongst the players. That was half a chance to reduce the deficit there. Diogo Jota. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And Bernardo Silva, what a clever bit of play it is from him, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. And the final whistle, and a place in the last four here at the Euros, belongs to Portugal. What a story! Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish, they created numerous chances, and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win for them in the end. And at the final analysis, a top-level contribution from Diogo Jota. How many times did we say that? The answer is rather a lot. Stuart, what did you make of what he put into the game? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.